Louisville's police union shoots down a new contract that would have paid officers more money. The mayor is calling it a setback. He says new officers could have made up to $65,000 within a few years. WDRB's Sarah Sidery explains this decision. Sarah? LMPD is 250 officers short. The FOP says the contract needs more to attract people to the job. Why should adults, adults, be getting paid more for bad behavior like beating innocent people? While holding signs that say vote no. Future is now. Send it back. With the exception of one speaker. Ratify the contracts. More than 30 people urged Metro Council to require more standards in a police union contract. If the police want more money, then they need to acquiesce to more accountability in their employment contract. River City FOP rejected its contract from the city Monday, which included a 9% raise next year. The FOP says it still wasn't enough to recruit and retain its officers, saying, quote, the members listened to their chief say that the LMPD should be the highest paid police department in the state. This proposed agreement does not accomplish that goal. They listened to the Metro Council president say there was more money available to realize these goals. We're believing leading police officers literally because of poor pay and past poor leadership and until we can um, stop that bleeding, our crime rate will continue to rise. Metro Council President David James says even though the city offered the FOP its largest single year contract, it's still not competitive. Shively, St. Matthews, J-Town, Nashville, Indianapolis, all surrounding police departments are paying much more than we are. This is a market driven situation. It's pretty simple. This isn't rocket science. And the FOP overwhelmingly passed a contract for its captain and lieutenants, which now goes to Metro Council for approval. Sarah Sidery, WDRB News. Thanks, Sarah. And Mayor Greg Fisher sent us a lengthy response to the FOP rejecting the officer and sergeant's contract. It reads in part, quote, a major goal of my administration is to make our salaries competitive to attract and retain the best officers in the region. This proposal was a major step toward that. Officers deserve the most accurate and unbiased information as they considered what was in there in the community's best interest. However, actions by two council members contributed to misinformation about mistrust in the proposal. To read what that misinformation he is referring to is just head on over to WDRB.com and click on this story.